Shabbat Shalom, beloved brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you, my brothers and my sisters all over the world as Yahuwah has scattered all of us into. So today is another great day Yahuwah has made and we shall be glad in this great yom. So stay tuned to get what Yahuwah have for us today. And tr please, for you to also, you know, for you to encourage me is subscription. When you subscribe to the channel, then it also encourage me to see that, wow, people are really listening and Yahuwah is teaching someone. But when nobody will comment, nobody will, will even like, even, even give a thumb up or even subscribe, it makes me feel like I'm just wasting my time. You see? I'm just trying to share the little knowledge Yahuwah has been giving me to other people in order to encourage one another because iron sharpens iron so that is the purpose of me coming online to do all these videos i am doing it's not to come ask for somebody to oh give me money or oh maybe they will give me money for maybe when you subscribe uh, then you are paying me money no no not so so please the only way you can be able to make me feel like yes what i am doing i am not just wasting my time here giving my creating content and the rest is for you to subscribe and give a thumb up at least to make me feel like yeah somebody like what i am doing or i'm not here to show myself you just you know share the little understanding i have gotten at least it can help one person or two persons here that will come across the video so that is my purpose not for any other thing so brothers and sisters don't just like it in facebook giving thumb up commenting there at least i'm doing it in a, in youtube so if you do the same other people that will just pass by seeing your comment and seeing the thumb up and your subscription they will also see oh wow that means what this person is saying, maybe it makes sense, let me listen. But when there is no thumb up, when there is no subscription, not when there is no comment at all, it seems like ah, nobody even commented. About 50 people have viewed it, but nobody comment. Other people too walk past. So please, that's what I want to say. So, shalom. So, <clears throat> sorry. Today I want to talk about um, in marriage. You know, we have already spoken about marriage, but today I want to talk about marriage, like marriage is the man to make the marriage work or the woman to make the marriage work. Those are the things I want to ask because I've seen in our society today that one person wants to always ride on the other, but forgotten that marriage is sacred, forgotten that marriage is be, be, uh, um, between a man and a woman and they become one marriage is something that is being established by the creator so marriage is not like the way we have seen it in the world or the way the world have painted it our society have brainwashed us in terms of marriage when little thing happen i divorce when little things happen i separate when little thing happen i go to another man i go to another woman you see because what we have forgotten the legacy that is in marriage. We have forgotten the sacred of marriage. So now today I want to clear our hearts or our mind in terms of who should make the marriage work. You see? Because many people are like, ah, the man will have to make the marriage work because he's the head of the family. <laughs> Some person will say, no, the woman will have to make the marriage work because she is the helpmate to the man. Mm, really okay let's go straight into the message the truth about this question is that marriage is between two persons so the scripture asks a simple question can two work together if they don't agree so the same goes into marriage one person is not there to make the marriage work is for the two persons to agree together to make that marriage work. So in a marriage, the man being the head does not mean that he's the one that must make the marriage work. That means pleasing the wife in anything, whether she's wrong or she's right. Pleading her 
pleasing her in order for the marriage to continue. That is why so many people end up dying. So many people end up killing each other. So many people end up stabbing each other because what? The person is fed up. Marriage is not about pretense. You cannot pretend to be happy when you are not happy in a marriage. Mm, because it's for life thing. It's forever. The scripture make it clear. It's forever thing. So it's not something like the man, because he's the head, he have to please me all the time. If not, there are other men out there. My sister, you have entered a covenant with that man. I'm sorry. You have entered a covenant with that man. So there is nothing like there are many other men out there. Didn't you see those men before you saw him? The same to the man. Not like, oh, the woman will have to please me because I'm the head of the home. So um, I can do anything I want. See, you sometimes some men emotionally, emotionally destroy their home unknowingly to them. The same goes to the woman. Emotionally, you destroy your man. You destroy your marriage. So that is it. So marriage is an establishment that Yahweh have established between two people. So there is nothing like the man will be the one to make the marriage work. Or the woman will be the one to make the marriage work. It's the both of you to make the marriage work. That means you have to, you have to what? Let go of something. That is sacrifice. Anything that will make your marriage to clash. Anything that will make your marriage to be kamsa like this. Anything that will make your marriage to be crooked, you have to let go of it to make it straight. So it's for the both party, both of you, man and woman. So there is nothing like, oh, the man is going to be the one to make it work. I mean, help mate. If not so, there are other men there will go to them. That means you are not ready for marriage. Marriage is all about tolerance. You have to tolerate. <laughs> In fact, now school you don't enter. You've come to a new school, the biggest school ever. All those schools you go, you do your master's. Those ones are for the world. But this one they call marriage, this is reality. This is now you face what? Reality. Because what you are trying to, you are trying to understand. You are trying to accept a character that you, you if on a normal day you were like, no, I cannot. You see? That is the reason why marriage shouldn't be done out of compromise. You don't need to compromise your happiness in marriage. The better you know now, the better for you in the future. Because if you start like, oh, you know, I have to please my husband so, so that, you know, I fear him. More. No, you need not to fear your husband. You need not to fear your wife. You only have to respect and love. Fear is for the creator. We are adults. We have to reason together. You see, that is marriage. You have to reason together. When, some, when somebody, or let me say your husband found something that is not right in you, don't always show that you are right. You get. Don't take it that, oh, you are, I am right, so you cannot correct me. We are all, we are all human. We make mistakes. We make, we, we make a lot of mistakes. So, say the foolish will always, he will not want to listen to advice. But the humble always listen to advice. So in marriage, you, when you apply the word of Yahuwah in marriage, that is, that is when your marriage can move forward. But when you want to compromise, my dear, before four years, two years, ten years, that marriage will collapse. Because what? You pretend to be what? Accepting all the nonsense in marriage. That is the reason why people you will see online, you see them internet, they are happy. Wow, look at this man. He bought car for his wife. Wow. He bought jet for his wife. Wow. He, he surprised his wife from uh, for her birthday. Wow. At the end, the same people you see, you will see here that the man stabbed the woman or the woman stabbed the man to death. What is causing it? Hmm? Is what? Compromise in marriage. You see, you want to show off. You want to show the world that ah, everything is okay. Oh. You see, you want to show that ah, I will, if I do it like this, my friends will laugh at me. You start enduring your pain. How long can your heart carry that hunger? 
one day it will get out of control and you will do what you wish not to even do you don't even dream about it that one day you'll be the one to stab a man to death or a woman to death you see so marriage shouldn't be done out of compromise shouldn't be done out of pretense lies marriage is a great union set from above so now i'm letting you know that this question you have been asking oh should the uh, uh, is the man that will make the marriage work or will it be the woman to make the marriage work is for the both of you two can only work together when they agree so you cannot be a part of different thinking different like this at the end you feel like you can work together no if when you live in alone there are some characters that you possess there are some character that you you know you you exhibit you see because you're living alone but once you get married those character that partner might not like those character of yours so there are some something there are some things that you make adjustment that is because you are living a new life entirely now your life is new you see it's no longer you alone living it's no longer you alone the man you are a bachelor the woman you are a spinster no now you are two different per persons trying to what understand each other you see so and it's for life thing it's for lifetime so before you go into marriage you have to understand all this thing marriage is not about oh the woman will make it work she must please me you are destroying your marriage that is how your marriage will collapse until fini you become like those people that you don't want to become like if you say the man will be the one to make the marriage work my sister your marriage go for it's for the both party you see anything the man doesn't like you sit down you reason it for put it in yahuwah's word and you see that ah truly the way i behave is not the way i should marriage should be friendly like you people are friend you people are friends you people are brothers you people are sisters you understand there are some times that you can have argument that argument shouldn't be taken hearted when it's taken hearted that is where the spirit of uh -huh, uh -huh, come in you see it shouldn't be taken heartedly when something happened between you and your man you say it over there don't let it increase to become a violent thing of i will kill you you will have to die no a man that beat his woman woe unto you because you have destroyed the covenant the sacred of marriage if you are a woman bitter please repent now before it to be too late unto you that is the reason why when some people after getting married to a wonderful sweet woman when they will not take advantage some of you take advantage of the kind wonderful woman yahuwah the creator give to you people as men the same to the women some of you take advantage of a wonderful man thinking that he can do anything you want and the man will be under your feet please pleading you pleasing you until the day is fed up that is where breakup starts then you say oh he's the witch of your your village you are a witch of yourself you see so what am i trying to say marriage is for two grown-up adults that understand life that have seen the reality of life that can be able to tolerate each other it's not for anybody in the street because he loves this woman he wants to enter into marriage without just for her body at the end of the day you cannot take your responsibility you start being you start becoming jack and shine inside your marriage you see marriage is not about that so the two party must make the marriage work as as a speech star, there are something that you'll be doing there are something that you'll be doing that when you get married you need to make adjustment you see so marriage is all about sacrifice something you you sacrifice that happiness that happiness like when you are living alone maybe you are a party type you are this you are that you have to sacrifice because now you are not living alone the man too there are some men that you'll be talking to them they are 24 hours with their phone you see 24 hours with their phone what do you expect the woman to do she will go elsewhere looking for who can talk to her 
who she can express herself to. One thing in marriage is attention. Attention matters a lot. You see, that is why I said it's for the two parties. A man needs attention from his wife. And the woman also needs attention from her husband. It's when those attentions are not there, the woman will be what? Forced to go out to a person that can give her that attention. It can be a man or it can be a woman. And that is where the marriage starts crumbling. A man needs attention. Attention is like you have to share your, you know, your feelings. What you feel, oh, what you see outside, you know, you just, you talk together as friends, as sisters. Then sometimes you become as husband and wife too, you see? But when you don't have all those qualities, you just want to show that I'm a professional. Don't put your profession inside your marriage. You will destroy it, you see? When you are at home, be husband and wife, sister and brother at home, friends at home. When you go to your work, become a professional there. Don't carry your professional language and be speaking to your wife that don't even understand what you are saying. Then at the end, you will look like, oh, the woman, she is dumb. She doesn't know nothing. Oh, woman, don't take your market uh, square words and come to your husband feeling like you have to know everything in the market. No. There are some things that are done outside that need to be outside. And the, the things that need to be at home, need to be at home. Let your work, let your profession, don't affect your marriage. Woman, man, the same. You see, anything that you know that is disturbing your marriage, that your relationship are always crumbling like this, you have to check yourself. Don't feel like I'm perfect. I am perfect in all my doing is the women's fault. That is why they cannot stay in marriage house. It's not my fault. My brother, you are at fault too. It's for the both party. Both of us have to check ourselves. You see? So when your marriage is shaking, don't feel like, ah, it's the woman that caused it. She is the cause. You see? Oh, it's the man that caused it. It's the cause. Me, I'm perfect. I'm fine. My dear, you are not perfect. We are all two human beings that are trying to understand each other. So marriage is all about tolerance endurance that endurance is that not quick to anger you see that endurance does not mean that the man will be laying hand on you see any man that is laying hand on a woman and you say you fear yahuwah woe unto you don't even try it that means you don't have the fear of yahuwah you see how will you feel seeing another man laying hand on your daughter whom he call his wife you see that is how the woman's uh, father or mother will be feeling you see for two adults that be even come to a reason that you have to fight each other are you children you see so marriage need to be in a mature way it's not anybody that is grown that have beer that is ready for marriage that have this thing off uh, off uh upstairs for marriage you see so my brothers and sisters i have answered your question today Marriage is for the two persons to analyze. Marriage is for the two persons to build into a better future of their home and their children and to the society. Marriage is for two persons to make to become a great, great union. So it's not left for the woman to make the marriage work or for the man to make the marriage work. But it's 50-50 to make 100% in the marriage. So the wife have her own 50% duty to perform in a marriage. And the husband also have his own 50% to perform in a marriage in order to complete it as 50, to complete as 100% in marriage. If the wife does 30% in marriage, why the husband does 20% in marriage? It's the equation is not still balanced. You see, it must become 100% because you have become one, 100%. So 50% is for the man to make sure that he handle, to make the marriage work. The woman also the same in order for the marriage to work. So 50-50 become 100%. That is the equation, balance equation in marriage. So that is it. So when you are living alone as a bachelor, is different. From when you are living as a married man. 
The same goes to the woman. When you ma when you living as a speech star, it's different from when you living as a married woman. So there are some things that you might be doing when you're a bachelor, when you're a speech star. Those are the things that you have to check back and let go in your marriage in order for your marriage to work well. So the both party have their duty to perform in a marriage. So nobody will say, I am the head of the marriage, so I can do anything I want. No, I am the wife, so I can do anything I want. No, you cannot do anything you want. The man cannot do anything he wants. Because now you people are building another world. You people are bringing in another personality into this world. Your children will learn from where, what you have laid, the foundation you have laid. Your children will be the one to reap all those fruits. So marriage is 50-50 to make it 100% equation balance. So, brothers and sisters, I come to the conclusion of the matter that says, is marriage just for man to make it work or for the woman to make it work? Now, today you've understand. So, please repent of your act. If you have been making your wife feel bad, making her feel like she have to plead, she have to be under your foot because you are the man of the house, because you provide for the house. Sorry, it's your duty to provide because that is your own part of the course in the scripture. You see, that is one thing that I always, also wants to enlighten. Many men thought because they provide in the house, they pay the house rent, they do everything like the house rent, you, you provide the money for feeding everything. That is where they feel like, oh, I am superior. This woman is nothing without me. My brother, sorry. You can have your money. When you have your money, how will you, feel? do you really feel complete when you have your, why did you get married to the woman? That is your duty. It's a cause. It's a cause unto the man from the from the the foundation of the earth it was a cause from the creator that is the reason why so many men leave their responsibility for the woman to carry it you see that means the woman carried two responsibilities two causes one cause from the foundation of the earth that cannot be broken until a man goes back to the dust where he was formed is what you have to till the ground that means you have to struggle you have to pay your rent if you don't have your own house. Even when you have your own house, there are other things to do. You see, you pay your rent. It's a cause that Yahuwah caused the men, you see, from the foundation of the earth, that the woman, the man will be the one to provide for the woman. That is a cause. It wasn't our fault. It's not like we are so, we, we are so lazy that we cannot do nothing. It's nature that is playing in our life. You see? That's why some people, some women will go out of their way when they start working, making a lot of money. At the end, they cannot work. Some of them, they cannot what? The, perform their own part of the duty, their own part of the course. A woman's course that was given to her after man, that, oh, the man would toil and the woman, you see, said what? The everything of our need will be of the man. That means the man will be the one to start providing for. It's a cost unto us. So it's not like when you started expressing those things, you pay your nepa, you pay your bills, you pay this or you pay that one, then you will not be feeling it like, ah, I'm the head, I am the, I am so superior, so this woman is nothing, I can do anything I want, I can sleep around, that one is not uh, nothing, she doesn't do nothing at home, she just there yeah, hitting my money, this one, that one, you start feeling like ah, she have to make the marriage work, I will make sure that she will, she will have to plead with me to make sure the marriage work, my brother, you are the one using your own hands to destroy your marriage, you see, you are the one using your own hands to destroy what your marriage that's what i can tell you the same to the woman the woman sorry my sisters i am a sister too our own cause is that our want will come from our husband <laughs> we have to rely on our husband but that doesn't mean that you cannot do something for yourself nation will always play whether you have everything you want whether you have the whole money as a woman you get nature will still play a severe, but you will still want your husband's support. 
So men should not take it like, oh, because they provide everything, the woman become nothing in their eyes. No, it's nature that is playing itself in our life because that is a cause that will fulfill forever and ever, except the creator broke that cause. That is the woman, that is the reason why till today as a woman, when you go into labor and giving birth, you see the pains, you see? You see the pains, it's a cause unto us. The same way the man is struggling to pay rent, pay this, pay that. The same way a woman will labor, a woman will be in pains before giving birth, you see. So, if we not put our own pain or our own cause on you as a man to feel like, okay, because me, I went into pain, giving birth, therefore the man have to submit to me anything I say to him because without me, he cannot have a child, you see. That means it cannot work, you see. So we have, we all have to acknowledge and accept the fact of our living. We all have to accept that this is a cause or a baraka or a blessing that the creator have set aside unto humanity is nature that is playing itself in our life. So we shouldn't not take it into our marital life to feel like, oh, because I am doing all this provision, I do this or the woman have to be under my feet. Oh, because I went into labor and pushed out the baby with all my life. Some people even lost their life in the process. So, oh, the man will have to please me. He has to be under my feet. No. Is a cause we are all bearing, and everybody is playing their part in the cause. Our cause is to labor, to cry. It's very painful. Giving birth is really painful. You see, you have to, you go through a lot of procedures from one month down to nine months. You know what you're passing through. You can even do the things he wants to do. That's our own cause. You see, that's our own cause. The man cause is. Tilling, their home is to till. That means you labor to be able to feed that family you are bringing into the world. Feed that woman. So that, does, that shouldn't make us feel like, oh, because I'm passing through this thing, the man have to please me. Oh, the woman have to make it work. Oh, the man have to make the marriage work. No, that is where we get it wrong. And that have destroyed a lot of marriages. So, brothers and sisters, we have to accept the part that we play and the woman, we have to also accept the part and to respect each other on each part Yahuwah have destined us to wish the man providing for the home is not easy. You have to appreciate your man and the woman bringing a child into this world. Man, you have to appreciate her. Some people will say, oh, you have girls, girls, girls as children. No. Do you know what she passed through? Is what the creator gave to us, she brought into the world. So you have to appreciate our own part of the cause that Yahuwah have placed in her. That is a blessing unto us at the end of it. Because you struggle when you make the money, you start, why? I buy I bought everything I want. It becomes a blessing, it's a cause, but it's also a blessing to us too. So man and woman, we have to respect each other on the part Yahuwah have given to us. So we shouldn't now make it like, oh, because of this, the woman will have to make the the marriage work or because of that the man will have to make the marriage work so it's not like that when you come with that mentality your marriage will sink in the ocean of destruction so that is what i have for you today so remain barak remain blessed yahuwah be your strength and give us wisdom to be able to have a good relationship with our spouse and also to build a great a great union of Yahuwah in our home that at the end of it, our children will eat the good fruit of the land. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Sister Joy. Please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumb up to this video and every other of my video in order for me to know that, yeah, you're listening and you appreciate what you saw. Shalom.